policy making has been the core strength of the country hmm. uh, and we just use that same principle of policy making and apply that to the fintech space uh, keeping in mind that the whole process of financial services hmm. are going to change so what are the most safe sound policies which require this to grow right is primarily our, our focus now that means that uh, some of the existing status quo policies will go through some change. You know, there are many reservations for the open architecture policy from different countries. So, how to how to maintain that balance there? I think they, uh, that's why in the Singapore yeah. open architecture policy is different from the US and UK right. uh, or open-minded. We looked at more organically de developing that shift. DBS has 180 open apps. We don't want banks to be in a disadvantageous position with the fintech hmm. because we need to have level level playing parity. Hmm. Uh, so, hopefully, that that kind of solves that. that, that Anxiety. What are the sandboxes the the regulators from all over the world should you know bring? What are the I think that they, they have, all of them have to look at sandbox from a policy standpoint. Is the experiment in the inside the sandbox is questioning or improving the policy? Mm -hmm. Because sandbox are just testing tech products. I, I don't think you get much value.